All right, everyone, so I got one more fig to review for you guys today. This is called Suwati. And it's a really nice fig because it's it, even in like pretty nasty weather, it, it's able to dry on the tree, which you can kind of see here, it's starting to shrivel up. It's very soft. The issue though that I've been seeing in, in more frequent or recent years is that it doesn't really um, hang on the tree long enough for it to dry. It seems to fall off, especially if you touch it. If you touch it a lot, I think it comes off a bit easier. And uh, I found a lot of these on the ground in, in the, this year and the, the past prior year. And sometimes they don't really get fully ripe, but it is probably the most beautiful fig I have. Um, it is gorgeous. And I'm gonna set you guys down. We're gonna taste test this one. I have talked actually at pretty good lengths about this fig in the past. And it's always been one of my favorites. However, this year it's been really disappointing and I don't, I don't exactly know why. The texture is not really there. I can't really get it to ripen for a long time. Um, it's historically been somewhere between a light berry fig and a berry fig. Um, it's got a lot of interesting flavors to it. This year the skin seems very furry. It seems to have matured a bit. Um, it's also ripening a bit later in the season for me. And uh, although this fig is a very early fig, it is an early fig actually. It's somewhere, it's somewhere in, in between early and mid, mid season. No head start this year. Uh, it's just acting quite differently this year and uh, it changes every year. It's such a strange fig. It really does morph quite frequently. But the skin's really something in terms of the beauty. Um, it's a really beautiful fig. You can tell on the inside here, it's, it's quite amber. Uh, an interesting color that I, you don't normally see in your figs. Um, it's just strange. And I've always said that this is a very strange fig. And uh, I think the first year I had it, it was really good. And then the second year I had it, I had some figs that were quite incredible. And then towards the end of the year, when things cooled down a bit, um, it wasn't as impressive. And now this year, uh, it hasn't been that impressive. So I don't know. But I think it's worth talking about this particular fig. So let me try it. It's just quite mild. And I, you know, a lot of these figs, unfortunately, if you don't pick them at the right stage, you're not really gonna get a good full scope into how they taste. And if they've been falling off prematurely or before I can get them to that perfect ripeness, I'm never really gonna be able to know just how good this fig is this particular year. Um, so it's a real bit of a shame and um, I think what I might do is just put it in an area maybe that's less windy or maybe I'll you know, not touch the figs or really let them hang on there for as long as I can. They all seem to be ripening at the same time. It's an extremely productive variety. Um, about every third or fourth node, it's putting out a double fig. Uh, again, it's early to mid season um, and it's rain resistant. It does have an issue though with the eye and that the eye sometimes is a bit open and sometimes there's a bit of a a little bit of mold at the eye, but that's just it. Uh, beautiful fig, but as beautiful as it is, I don't really think it could ever be a commercial fig. It's kind of a shame because it's really a spectacularly looking fig. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of seeds in here. Although the pulp is very uniform, almost like a gel this time, this year. Um, almost like a jelly, a, congeal, a congealed gel. Uh, and the skin is a bit furry this year, so I'm not really a big fan of it. It kind of reminds me of yellow Nietzsche's in a way. And uh, yellow Nietzsche's improved itself this year, but overall I'm not really uh, too fond of either fig this year, so, or, or just in general. Um, it's a bit, bit of a shame, because I really had high hopes for this one, and I think it just over time has uh, turned into something that's not as good. Let's give it one more, one more try. Oh, that one's better, but nowhere near as complex as the first and second year and how I was able to really get them to 
to hang on the tree for a long time and really start to dry up. These are starting to, these are starting to, you know, shrivel up. But the other ones I've had, I think, just very different. I don't know. But anyway, guys, that was Suwadi for you all. It's a Middle Eastern fig coming from uh, Bass's collection. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this one. We'll talk to you all soon and uh, take care.